However, that being said, we are going to be seeing Luzi's finals now, of course, best of five. Um, Apollo versus Beast, you know, Beast, you know, he's going through Luzi so, so confidently right now. You know, three yelling Bash Cheat, three yelling Confirm like that. Um, and right now, just Apollo is struggling to fight his way out of the corner. We're going to be landing unsafely on shield like that. Good use of the, uh, the gunman, actually, to extend the hitbox and, you know, sort of give, um, give, give, whatchamacallit, beast a little bit more hit lag. Oh, wow. That poor is so strong. Just able to catch a high recovery. Beast, he's pacing this really, really aggressively, really, really quickly. I feel like Zane has not found a way to deal with this pressure quite yet. Like, always constantly fighting themselves out of the corner. Um, and just not able to, like, zone and create the space that they really, really want to right now. And that up is not gonna kill quite yet. Tries to be as heavy as he is. Right now, just so moving around. While nothing is better at stuffing our flow blitz than all of, you know, uh, Duck Hunt's projectiles, you know, especially Can and, 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 um, you know, the Gunman just become so difficult for, for the Beast to be able to, to be able to connect that at all, quite honestly. You're probably doing a great job, uh, bringing back the deficit and managing to, to make it up completely. Nice, good job. Ah, oh, man, you see, uh, you see Beast going, like, super deep for these, attack, for these hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he has the uh, ability to do so. Uh, mm. ah, slightly yeah. misplacing the directional angle. That's okay. Once again, I do want to plug like Apollo's use of the can just to cover, um, you know, the head a little bit. It just sort of, you know, makes you like second guess yourself whenever you're edge guarding and setting up your ledge traps. Um, that being said, mm, I think Apollo overcommitted to sort of covering the uh, airspace there. It just sort of gave, gave, gave Beast the means to just go on and neutral get up right back on. I wouldn't be surprised if, if, you know, Zane, like, kind of stuck to the platform a little bit and missing put it a run off failure. Ooh, oh my Whoa! goodness, that's so good! That was, that was delicious. And Paula with, like, these sick cam shots today. Mm -hmm. Such a good dash back. Look at the way they just position themselves. Dash back can cover, like, you know, DI out. Position themselves to cover DI towards the stage. Um, yeah, that, there was so little that Beast could actually do to land in that scenario. Look how much he is struggling to get back onto the stage. Beast said, you know what? It's time oh, to- Oh no! <laughs> Not like this! <laughs> oh no. That was such a not like this moment right there. My heart! My heart! Oh, the reeds! I am hyperventilating. What happened? The reeds! No. <laughs> Jeff, what did I see? Uh, okay, so let's just do a quick replay there. Can I? So, can I get... oh. so, so Zane I... managed to knock him away with the cold pigeon, and he died out enough where he was able to actually do the up B, and the up B scooped up Zane and killed him. Killed them. Oh, and that's nuts. No. Okay, right. So, so this was like the can kill. Man, look at this happening. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. That last match was so crazy. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's just go, go directly to game two. You can't let that stuff bother you. Especially like if you're, if you're a competitor, you know that uh, if you let things bother you too much, it's gonna end up costing you the set. You no, know, sometimes you just gotta listen to Taylor Swift, and uh, I'm not gonna make a shake it off joke. Anymore. I'm sorry. Oh, mm, not able to get a punish on the play blitz. You know, Zane just decided, you know, not gonna go extend. I'm just gonna try to get. You know, oh, let's, a couple go. Of, like, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All the way to the roof. I thought I, I at least thought that was gonna kill. Um. Okay, interesting interaction there. The gunman actually managed to shoot literally at the last possible second before he got deleted by Flare Blitz. And Zane taking an early, early lead. Let's go. Good job. Clay Pigeon is so good against Charizard. It was almost nothing that Beast could have done. That looks like such a difficult place to be. And look at the option coverage coming from Apollo right now. 
not giving Beast the opportunity to breathe whatsoever. Covering the ground with Gunman, the air with the can. Look at all of this setup. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? It's a juggling gun. <laughs> What's that I can do? <laughs> I'm sorry for the mic. This has been like this has actually been like one of the most interesting players to watch tonight. And it's so, uh, uh, just a com combination of the two. Yeah, no, they they were they were seated on opposite sides. I think. Yeah, they were seated on opposite sides of the bracket. And every time I watch them play, it's always like really interesting. But Beast has like been doing some of that wild stuff today. The good dash back, that was really, really nice, just, you know, preparing himself to cover so many different ground options from Apollo there. Right now, just definitely catching Apollo, shielding a whole lot. Yeah, that's the... Oh, man, did he roll? Is that, that a roll from, uh, from Beast that got killed? Shield or something, but either way, Apollo was just so confident in the lead that he just ran up and up smash him like that. Trying yeah. to get off of the gun, man, that was actually really, really smart. Uh, maybe trying to get like a little bit of a, like a shield from Block Shrink uh, going there because had like Apollo landed with back air and then the gunman connected that could have been like a free grab I believe. Oh boy. And again like Apollo's off stage. Not, she, they're not in a great position right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to... Oh. I... What? Yeah. Yeah okay. Yeah that's fine. Yeah, I'm continuing that's this battle once again. Beast has to be built. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my god. Do you think oh Beast just realized, god. like, maybe, like, earlier this week? Oh, if somebody touches my shield, I can just fly! And just murder them for doing it. Because this will screw people. Especially multi hits. Oh! <laughs> Those out of shield options ridiculous, bro. What? <sighs> just murdering, just absolutely massacring people with that beat today. What is going on? Okay, Dara, you doing okay? I'm not, cause Beast is stealing these games. This is theft. I would have thought like we'd maybe see the character switch from uh, from Apollo you after you after this be really unfortunate games. One, if I were Apollo, I'd be kind of tired right now. Not gonna lie. I mean, that is like the second game. A crazy interaction happened with uh, with Uppy just completely ending Apollo's game. That being said, something you have to really notice is just how bad Charizard's disadvantage really is against Dark Hunt. That 78% basically came for free for, uh, for Apollo. Um, they were just able to cover all the Charizard's landing options. Oh he doesn't have any particularly quick buttons. Look at that, look at that. Covering out with the can, covering the jump ins with the up air. What could Beast have done there? That was such good juggling coming from Apollo. That was fantastic. I won't be fooled. This match is going to end the exact same way the last two have. Oh my god, Beast! So deep, but still able to come back from that. And again, more, more clay pigeon shenanigans. Like, like Apollo has been getting so much mileage off of them. Such an amazing tool. Beast is just struggling to, 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 to do anything. He's just being kept afar. Dark Hunt, you know, on a stage of small Smashville, Gunman covers basically the entire stage. Beast can't jump in, can't cover everything else. What could he realistically be doing here? Look how tough this is. Enough smash, uh, disadvantage, she would not be. Come on. Yeah, you know better than this. You, you mash in the wrong time. Yeah. We call that the scare dodge, boys and girls. Do we? Do people call it that? I'm also probably scare dodges out of fear because somebody's gonna do something to you. 
Oh wow, that was actually a really good direction. I was just barely positioning himself away from the can. Right now, though, Apollo in a bit of a tight spot, but still gonna be Scooping. able to scoop up. Yep. Scooping him up. Down to into neutral, just goes through the option coverage, not really too confident in a particular direction of DI. Um, right now, trying to set up the edge guard a little bit. Once again, using the can just to force the beast to sit in shield as Apollo. You know, the biggest thing that they have to worry about is Ivy Swords down there. And if you can, you know, force them to sit in shield, um, then, you know, you've made it back to stage for free. Yeah, this runs up and grabs. Really smart not to go for F though. Um, there because you know didn't want to stale it out at all. That being said, Florida was able to take it. This is still within the realm of possibility for Beast. Like once again, he does I think Beast would just do that. Intro Smash Wi-Fi tournament. Jeez. I oh 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 and I... <sighs> This is too technical for my taste. I'm just gonna charge it up. Hmm. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I just had the best idea. Okay. Anyhow. Oh, this is looking oh. so tough. Ah, oh, but just outside of the range for Clay Pigeon into up in. At that point, he had to do like Clay Pigeon back or something like that. 195%. But yes. <laughs> not gonna kill Sends the other way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a really good can. Like, all the, the, the last few interactions were very nicely done by Paula. No, you can't mash up beyond me. Haha, <laughs> funny button go. Pachoo. Pachoo. You can't, you can't hit me with that B if you can't get close enough. You doing okay, Dara? Um, okay is a relative to. Are you doing? Are you doing as well as you usually are? Ha! <laughs> probably my definition of okay. Um, or you know what? Was pain. You know what? I don't know anymore. I don't think I don't think I know how to answer that question anymore. After after all, I'm seeing this. I feel when your doctor goes, are you feeling any pain? And you go, nothing more than the normal amount. And then the doctor goes, the normal amount is zero. Ready? <laughs> and you just yeah. look at him funny. It's called habituation, guys. I've been habituated to, 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 to this pain that is Smash Ultimate. So you know what? Nothing surprises me anymore. This is hype. This is Poggers, even. Game four. Apollo right now down. One whole game, potentially could be bringing this to a game five, but Beast obviously not gonna want that, just wants to clean it up right here. Again, the back throw into back air. Um... Oh, they didn't take, they didn't take that! <sighs> okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he had no reason to press that. Apollo, uh, nobody did near him. He's like, he's like, not even close. He's like, he's like standing up because the other side of the platform. Uh, Oh, oh, no. Charizard right up, he's been putting in work, so I don't, I don't blame these for just doing it, like, out of disadvantage. They're gonna try to set up the juggles here. Really good use of the can to call out the neutral air dodge. Apollo, they position themselves to call out directional air dodge, jumps, anything else, and the can would have just cleaned up the hardest thing to punish. Really, really okay. good stuff, and look at this mix! Alright, I appreciate this. <laughs> Never forget that Apollo could die at literally any moment. Forever extending, even slightly. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a dodge back off to the stage. Super, super risky, um, but nicely <laughs> spaced just to be able to avoid the two foot him down air. You see Beast this time, you know, like taking his time, taking his space, and just as you said it, yeah, no, up smash. Really, really powerful would have really scooped him up. Oh, 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 oh! Oh. <laughs> Point. I don't. The amount of times that they both tried to interact with the can, and the can just explodes in their face because of the other person is just pretty staggering. 
Oh, nice. Finally, the can is able to kill you. You know, just like forcing a high recovery. Um, at that point, very little that Beast could have actually realistically done there. Apollo starting to bring this back after losing the stock a little bit earlier than they normally would have anticipated. And again, like Apollo. I feel like Apollo is definitely one of the most seasoned jugglers there are. Apollo's just able to understand the tools so well. Understand can, understand like how to do dodges. That being said. Looks like the third up smash that, that Beast has got in. Just like off the super, I guess just off of a super roll read. Twice already. Oh. In this match alone, yeah. I, <laughs> it's like that, 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 that inclination to just try to roll through your opponent when you're just is so strong. And if you understand like how to really use that weapon against your opponents, you can do some crazy damage. Yeah. That being said, double clay pitch it back here. Classic stuff. See it time and time again from Zane. Um, you know, they're so, so consistent with it. And again, more clay pigeon conversions. You see them drifting out because they weren't too confident that they would be able to land safely from the uh, from the back here. So just like a really nice way of resetting neutral after they got the hit. And Zane is finally like, he's at death's door. They've got to be super careful right now. Uh, I wish yeah. I could totally finish his match off for, uh, for Beast. Yeah, gonna be looking for those uppies, gonna be looking for those uppies. Tries to get one of those, you know, a little bit low, those, like, kind of sneaky grabs oh. back to those. Where's my floor blitz? Where's my floor blitz? Is it coming? Mm, not quite yet. Not quite yet. You gotta remember floor blitz against Duck Hunt. So difficult to execute. That was a nicely timed nail as well, because not only did it kind of like shift these hurt box a little bit, but it also like smacked the can away successfully. Um, like definitely like it was it was really really nicely timed. Nail, I would say. What? What? <laughs> Wait, does Zane throw out the can and then die first because he's lighter? Yeah, I think that's what happened. No. I think Zane died first because they threw out the can. They both did an option immediately out of hit stun. Zane threw the can, and um, and Beast did Nair. And the can exploded frame one and hit uh, and hit Zane. But because uh, I'm assuming the Nair hitbox just slowed down the explosion for um, uh, I don't think Nair would have like killed like that at hundred, even if it were like at the roof, basically. But that was. Kinda nuts! Alright, so our grand finals are gonna be Pokéland versus Beats. I wanna see that again. Jesus. I don't wanna see that again.